I so loved the wedding yesterday. Let me digress a little. Mm. Me and my wife were talking about it in the car. Do you know that the couple did not arrive with the wedding car? Eh? When I came and we were about to park, I was saying, <laughs> Where the car for the people who won't marry? I bet they never come. They came with Keke to marry. The girl with her wedding gown, the brother with his suit. No, no weeping through the night. We don't, we don't have money to decorate a car. I'm suffering. I don't know why Jesus is suffering me like this. <laughs> huh? They came with Keke. See the sister's wedding gown. As simple, as modest, as beautiful as you can imagine. Don't believe me. Go and check the pictures. As you can imagine. Reception, uncle. I like the way Pastor Barrow closed the service. He said, there is no reception. Let the joy of the Lord fill your belly. You that did not eat in your house before coming. <laughs> you want to kill the couple. You brought that your appetite that 12 fufu cannot satisfy. You brought it to come and eat. What will you live with? The joy of the Lord. Glory to Come on, clap your hands. They were not ashamed. There's something, Pastor, if he said last week, that is profound. He says you get to a place where you are doing the will of the Lord. And you are not ashamed. You are delighting in it. It's painful. It looks embarrassing sometimes. It looks like you are foolish. You are not doing it, and then in your heart you are saying, God, you are suffering me. No. You are delighting. You are enjoying it. Can you imagine how much that wedding cost? No pressure. You, you are almost 65 now. They ask you, why have you not married? I'm waiting for money. Oh God, you will be 95. And the way God does that matter is that the money you are looking for, you know, come. Every time you gather small and you say, Hey, thank God I go to my God, we come and scatter it. <laughs> we scatter it. They know themselves now. <laughs> they want to be old papa before they marry old papa. So it was.